Today we'll give you a presentation into foreign exothermic welding products. Here we've got our mold. Two things you have to take into consideration here. It's got to be free of humidity as well as drew. To be able to clean up the drew, we've got the brush and the scraper. Next one we have is the welding powder. It's got two sides to it. One side is full of the actual uh, welding powder and the other side is the primer. And we got the washer. Now the highlight of today's presentation is the actual electronic igniter. Electronic igniter comes with 10 fuses. Now my colleague is going to demonstrate to you how we do the exothermic welding. To be able to do the exo welding process, first you have to put in the washer. And on top, we pour the exothermic welding powder. And the primer powder, which is on the other side. This primer powder is actually used to ignite the exothermic welding powder. Next step is to close the cover. Now we move onto the fuse side. Fuse comprises of two wires. You split the two wires a little bit to be able to connect them to the terminals of the electric igniter. Electric igniter, it's got two meters of wire to it so that it can actually be used from a distance safely. Next step is to place the fuse inside the cap on the exothermic welding wall. Now the mold is ready to be ignited. First, we turn on the on off button. When you see the red light, it's ready to be fired. It'll ignite. Press on burn. And the welding process is complete. You wait about a minute before you open the clamp for the actual uh, weld to settle in. As you can see, from a closer distance, the quality of the powder itself, it's got no cracks, no pores on it. Thank you very much for listening and watching.